Hello, I'm Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be talking about the mobility and stability of joints and how that relates to back pain. A study that I'm reading right now noted that more than 80% of Americans will experience episodes of low back pain at some point in their lives, and the total costs of low back pain are estimated at greater than $100 billion annually. That's crazy. So this is something we should care about. There's a correct way that your body is supposed to work and it's supposed to be some joints are stable and some joints are mobile and it alternates back and forth. If we start down at the ground, we should build up and it should alternate back and forth. Our feet should be stable. Our ankles should be mobile. Our knees should be stable. Our hips should be mobile. Our pelvis should be stable. Our spine should be mobile, upper and lower, different sections of that are stability, mobility going up. Scapula stable, shoulders mobile, elbows stable, wrists mobile, neck stable. In regards to your back, your spine, your lower back is supposed to be stable, your mid back is supposed to be mobile, and your upper back is supposed to be stable. Everybody's gonna have back pain. I've had back pain, I had back pain as soon as I was like 16 working on the farm, things going wrong, not having proper training or proper access to help to um, exercise information at that point in my life. We all had some episode of back pain at some point in our life. The thing that I see the most when people walk through my door is that when they have low back pain, we can almost instantly look at their hips, right? Everybody in the Western world is chair shaped, right? Because you got it, we don't do the 10 basic things that humans are supposed to do all the time. We don't walk a lot, we don't run a lot, we don't jump a lot, we don't carry heavy things. We tend to do what? Sit down all the time. Right, you go to school, you sit down. You go to college, you sit down. You get in your car and you drive to the grocery store, you're sitting down. You get on the subway, you're sitting down. You're always sitting down in the Western world. So we're not moving our hips enough. So because our lower back is supposed to be stable and our hips are supposed to be mobile, when we sit down all the time, our body adapts to exactly what we're doing and our hips become stable. They don't move. You stand up and you get like the old man stand up where you get all crinkly and you make weird noises and You'll see it, people make those weird faces. When that happens, your body starts trying to steal mobility from the next joint structure up. And when you go up, that's probably your lower back. So your lower back is supposed to be stable, but when your hips are too stable, then your lower back tries to become mobile. So this is like the major problem that we have. Going down, when our hips are too, too stable, our knees start trying to become mobile and we get weird knee pain. You'll start to see ankles roll in, feet go flat, right? You tend to see this more in uh, people who are overweight. And so the mobility stability of their body gets essentially thrown off. When we think about training, we have to think about getting those things back. So in the beginning of training, almost everybody is probably going to need to do some type of shoulder mobility and hip mobility. If you get your shoulder and your hips moving, your spine tends to start straightening itself out. As you get more advanced, then you can add in spinal mobility in order to try and get the stability, mobility, stability complex back in line. Exercise selection and all these other things have a lot to do with that. The simple answer to most of these things without getting super sciencey on it is uh, get a club bell, learn to use it. Get a kettlebell, learn to use it. Just the sheer fact of just getting those things and learning to use them correctly tends to realign people's stability, mobility problems that they have. So. When you're thinking about training to alleviate some type of lower back pain through fitness, we wanna make sure that we are mobilizing the hips, getting the glutes to engage, right? And teaching the core to fire. All of those things are gonna help us realign the stability and mobility of the joints inside of our body. This is Mark Wildman with some thoughts on stability and mobility. If you get a club bell or a kettlebell and you learn to use it, you're probably gonna solve a lot of problems that you don't even fully understand. And back pain is probably going to go away if you learn to use those things correctly. So learn a real skill, reorient your body.